Welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about simplifying exponential equations. How do we simplify equations that is similar to number one? The first thing we are going to think of is to make the base the same. So the base are not the same, so we're going to be trying to think of the smallest possible number, probably two. So if we are going to say two to the first, that would be um, two. Two to the second is four. Two to the third is eight. Two to the fourth is 16. Two to the fifth is 32. Oh, we're going somewhere. Two to the sixth is going to be 64. Okay, so um, we can make the base um, be the same by using base 2. So we let's rewrite um, 1 eighth into base um, the denominator, which is 8 into base 2. So that would be 1 over 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. So 2 times 2 times 2. That would be equal to 8. So we're going to keep this in as a fraction and keep the exponent negative p minus 1. We'll also make the other side, the right side, as base of 2. And that base of 2, which is equal to 2 to the power 6. So 2 to the power 6 um, times the original uh, exponent, 3p plus 3. Okay, so um, uh, the left-hand side equation is a fraction, so we want to make this um, into uh, a whole number. So we are going to bring or uh, bring the 2 to the third power in the numerator, and what happened now is that the 1 gets multiplied by 2 to the third, but the 3 is going to become a negative exponent. You're changing the location from denominator to a numerator. You are switching or changing the exponent into negative. So um, then we are going to drop the original exponent, which is negative p minus 1 in parentheses because it is a binomial. So binomial meaning two terms, negative p minus 1. Let's drop the right-hand side, 2 to the power 6. Um, we can start multiplying, or we can multiply later. So 3p plus 3. So again, our first goal is to make the base the same. So we can start distributing. So we'll have 2 to the power. We distribute negative 3 times negative p is positive 3p. And then that would give us positive 3. On the right side, that will be 2 to the power 18p plus 18. So we would like to now focus on the denominators, I mean the exponents. So notice that the bases are already the same so once the base is the same we are going to focus on the exponents we're going to equate 3p plus 3 equals 18p plus 18 isolating p that would be subtract 3 on both sides there's multiple ways to isolate p i would like to uh sub place my p on the left hand side of the equation so this will leave me with um negative 15 p equals 15 and so therefore the answer for number one is p equals negative one which is the solution Okay, let us try another problem. What about this type of problem right here? So if you notice that the equation um, 
4 to the power k minus 1 equals 1. So we will try to, okay, so the first step is to make the base the same. So the base in here, no matter how we change that, whether base 2, it's still going to be equal to 1. So we're going to think of, say, for example, any number raised to a power 0, say 2 to the power 0, that is equal to 1. So which means 4 to the power 0 will also be 1. So instead of using 1, we are going to use 4 to the power 0. We're going to drop the left-hand side, the original 4 um, to the power k minus 1. And since the bases are now the same, then we will have k minus 1 equals 0, isolating k. So k is equal to positive 1. It looks difficult, but it's really not. Let us try another problem. What about this type of problem? So let's recall what we did earlier. Remember, we are going to try and make the base the same. So if I am going to switch, I could probably change each of these base into base 2. So let's recall what we had earlier. So 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 to the 3rd is 8. We've got 2 to the 5th is equal to 32. And then 2 to the 6 is equal to 64. Yes, we can make the base um, all the same using base 2. So 64 is equal to um, 2 to the power 6. And then we're going to drop the original exponent, negative 3x minus 1. The denominator would be um, 2 to the power 5 and then equals 2 to the power 3. Now, we remember we have a fraction on the left-hand side. We want to make these all be on the same level say, um, uh, as a numerator. So we are going to move the denominator, the denominator all the way to the top, which is the numerator. Now, what's going to happen? We're going to drop the original 2 to the power 6 times negative 3x minus 1. Now, bringing the 2 to the 5th in the numerator makes the exponent negative. Because we are changing the location or of 2 to the 5th. Um, now, the right-hand side is, we're just going to drop it down, 2 to the 3rd. And let's simplify. We will have... Mm, 2 to the, we're going to simplify it, so this will be negative 18 minus 6 times 2 to the negative 5th equals 2 to the 3rd. All right, so now that the bases are the same, let's focus. Oh, I'm missing something here. This should be negative 18x. Uh, I'm sorry. I overlook at the numbers. Now, um, the base, since the bases are the same, we're going to combine like terms. So we're going to put this together as one base, and the exponents will be negative 18 minus 11, negative 6, plus negative 5. We're adding exponents of the same base. So um, equals 2 to the third power. Now that the bases are the same. We're going to stay focused on the exponent. So the exponent would be negative 18 minus 11 equals 3. Isolating x. Add 11 on both sides. So, oh, I'm missing the x again. I, I don't know what happened to x, but I'm sorry. There should be x in, it, in, there, in that 18. So negative 18x equals 14. Divide both sides by negative 18. So x is equal to, we can simplify these by dividing each by 2. Simplify. So this will leave us with negative 7 over 9. So the solution to this problem is negative 7 over 9.
All right, all right. Thank you for watching. If you find value in this video, please hit subscribe and share. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.